Welcome to the Family History Guide Show Me series. This segment applies to My Heritage Project 2, My Heritage Tree Goal 5, View People Lists and Run Relationship Reports. People Lists and Relationship Reports help you quickly find people and see their information and relationships. This is especially helpful as your tree grows in size. During this video, in the interest of simplicity, I will refer to the links in the Family History Guide, but I will not show the linked documents. You will need to click on the links to see these documents. You can open the MyHeritage website in the Family History Guide website in separate windows, and you can pause the video to try out the specific instructions. Depending on your browser settings new windows may open automatically or may be added as new tabs to an open browser window. You may need to resize your windows to see all of the windows that are open at the same time. Choice A. Use the list feature to display a list of people in your tree. In the upper right of the family tree screen, below the main menu tab, click the list view icon. A list of ancestors in your MyHeritage tree is displayed. Examine the list of people in your tree in the default list view, with basic information in these columns. Name shows the person's name. Birth, shows the person's birth date and birthplace, if available. Death, shows the person's date and place of death, if available. Discoveries, click the Discoveries icon to display record matches for this person. For more information on Discoveries, see, Goal 10. To sort the people list, click one of the sort by options, Relationship, Default, Last Name, First Name, Birth Date, Birthplace, Death Date, Death Place, or last added. To navigate the list, A, click results per page, lower right, and enter a number. Or, B, select or enter a page number, lower left. To filter the list, A, click filter. B, click a letter if you want to narrow the list to only surnames that begin with that particular letter. C, Click Other to show only surnames that begin with a special character, or D. Click Unknown to show people without recorded surnames. To set other viewing options, click the Options wheel, upper right. Here you can set options for list display and names. You can also export the name list to a spreadsheet by clicking Export, bottom of the panel. To do a quick edit for a person in the list, hover over the person's name and click the pencil icon, right side. Choice, B, use the search feature to quickly find names in the list view. To search for a person, type a name in the Find a Person box and click the magnifying glass. The results are shown on the current page, and additional pages if necessary, with the total number of search results displayed. To reset the search, click Clear Search. Click the down arrow to use the search keyword as full name, first name, or last name. Choice C. Run Relationship Reports. From the Family Tree menu, click More, and select Relationship Report. Type a name in the Source Individual field. If possible, Select a name from the drop-down list that appears. You can also click Pick Me to select yourself as the source individual. Type a name in the Target Individual field. If possible, select a name from the drop-down list that appears. In the Detailed drop-down menu, select Minimum, Show Names Only, Medium, Names and Photos, if available, or Maximum, Names, Photos, and Additional Details. Click Display Relationship. A picture chart is displayed between the source and target individual you chose, as well as a summary of relationships at the bottom of the page. Note, if MyHeritage cannot determine the relationship, a message is displayed to indicate that. In any relationship report, you can click an eye icon to display the profile page for the selected person. In a maximum detail report, you can click a pin icon to see location information, see the birth and death place options in choice A, above. Thanks for watching another Show Me from the Family History Guide.